My name is Sam Chimpuya. I'm an elder at, at Northside. And this, I'm going, to, I'm going to be doing the midweek devotion for this week. The midweek devotion for this week is based on the sermon that was preached by our pastor Gary on Sunday. And both, both um, Pastor Gary and uh, Pastor Vere have started a series on teaching on the book of Revelation. And Pastor, Pastor Gary started, to ex started by explaining what the purpose of the book of Revelation is all about. And the, and the purpose of the Revelation is to unveil what, who Christ is. But not only availing what he, who he is, but also what he has done, what he is doing currently, and also what he will do in the future. And, and, and also our position in the kingdom. I'd like us to refer to Revelations 1 and verse 6. Uh, I will start from verse 5. And from Jesus, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. And he has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Here we're being told what Jesus is doing. He is making us a kingdom of priests to save his God and his Father. Now, this resonates with what is written in Ephesians 2 from verses um, six to nine. I will, I, will, I will read from Ephesians two. And I will, I will start from verse four. But because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy has made us alive in Christ even when we were dead in trespasses. It is by grace we have been saved. And God has raised us up with Christ and has seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the, incom the incomparable riches of his grace. What we what 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 we saying here is Jesus is creating a kingdom in in who in, in, in which we are citizens. Now, and why are we being made citizens in the kingdom of God? It is to serve his God, our Father as well. And this this is why. He has repeated it in, in verse 6, and he has made us to be a kingdom of priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Now, Revelations was given by God, the Father, and this was given to Jesus, his Son. And in turn, Revelations was then given to his servant, John, in the spirit. Now, the sequence is from the father to the son to the servant. Now, while Jesus sent, <clears throat> while, while, when, 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 when Jesus took the revelation to John, he didn't go himself. He sent his angel. 
And John could not receive this except when he was in the house of God and when he was filled with the Spirit. Now, what, what is that saying to us? When we are not in tune with God, we cannot receive his word. So when John was in the house of God and was in the spirit, the angel was then in a position to reveal the message from Jesus to him. Now, what did John see? And what did he hear? John saw Jesus in his full splendor. He, he was pure, he was righteous, he was glorious, and he was mighty. Now, this same Jesus who loves us has freed us from sin and he has made us a kingdom of priests to save his king, to save his God and his father. Now, this same Jesus is king of kings and he definitely is coming again. Now, when John so Jesus, he was frightened to bits. He fell down and, and the Bible says he was he, he, he was like he was dead because it was awesome, it was fearful. But what did God what did Jesus say? He said, no. Do not fear. Do not be afraid. So when when he, so John says, when I saw him, I fell to, to, to his feet as though dead. Then he placed Jesus placed his hand. On, he, on, on me and said, do not be afraid. I am the first and I am the last. I am the living one and I was dead and now look, I am alive and I'm going to be living forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and, and hates. John also saw two other things. John saw seven lampstands. And within these lampstands, that's where Jesus was. What do these lampstands represent? The seven lampstands represented the seven churches during that time. Now, these were the churches that, were, that had been established at that time. And Jesus was in, in, in each of these churches. John also saw the seven stars. And these represented the, the angels. Now, each angel was in each church. So what the book of Revelation is saying is when we are together in church, Jesus is there with us. Not only that, the angel is also there with us. Now, what are these angels doing when they are there in the churches with us? When we look back at verses, verse 19 of Revelations, Jesus is saying, write therefore what 
you have seen what is now and what is to take place. Who is going to be writing? It's John, but also he is being assisted by the angels. Now, Pastor Gary, when he talked about it on Sunday, he was saying the angels are writing about what they see in the church. There is nothing that is hidden from God. There is nothing that is hidden from Jesus. Everything is before him. And the angels are writing everything that they are seeing. So nothing is hidden. However, we should not be afraid. For those of us and those of you who have accepted Christ, you don't have anything to worry about because already God has seated us in the heavenly places with Christ and he has already freed us from sin and therefore we are safe. So, but woe to you, however, who have not accepted Christ. Now, hear what Christ is saying. He's no longer coming to us as a baby, as it was at Christmas. He is now coming back to us as a judge, to judge the living and the dead. And he says in his own words, he holds the keys of death and hates. Therefore, when we preach the word, when the word comes to you, please accept Christ as your Savior and Lord and become part of the kingdom of God and to be a priest as well so that we serve our God and our Father who is in heaven. And the book of Revelation is going to help us see what is to come. And these, we are going to be assisted by our pastors who are going to be explaining all these things to us. The book of Revelation is fearsome. It is a book with full of pictures and sometimes we don't even understand what is being said. But when we are in the spirit, the spirit is there to reveal to us the, the truth. Now, let's look at um, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. It says, What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the Spirit of God reveals to us the things God has prepared for those who loved him, who love him. And, and these things are being revealed. These things God wants us to know are being revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. And so, when we make ourselves available to the, to the Holy Spirit, he will teach us all truths. And the book of Revelations, in order to understand it, we really need to be in tune with the Holy Spirit all the time. It is a book that is difficult to read, but we are going to go and uh, go through it slowly with our pastors 
and understand it completely. This is the beginning, and there is, there is more to come in the coming weeks. Thank you for listening today.